Hey, what's going on guys? You boys, Pilot2K7, and we are back for a brand new Granite Photo 5 real life mod video. Hope you guys are having a great day, and I appreciate you guys for checking out today's video. So as you can see, we are back with our all black Peterbilt. This thing is awesome. It's by Bag Customs, and I actually have good news about it. I know in the last episode we used it, I said it was uh, going to be a private mod. Well, Bag actually went ahead and publicly released it, so you guys go download it. It is linked down below below in the video description go enjoy it now let's get into today's episode so today we're gonna be doing a little bit of trucking and a little bit of construction so we're actually at our construction yard right here and also let's give a shout out to bag too because Bag hooked up this game with a lot of construction vehicles literally almost every vehicle right here and every trailer with the exception of the Silverado on the right and the f-350 and the chevy express everything right here is by bag so huge shout out to bag for bringing all of these awesome models into the game if you guys want to ever see like some of the early mods he's working on definitely uh, check out his youtube channel i'll link it up in the top right and in the video description also check out his patreon page as well so you guys can get some early access to some of his mods so today's goal um see how we're gonna do this I actually need to grab this excavator we got to take this excavator out let me move the truck out the way first so we got to take the excavator out we got to load it onto the low boy trailer over there all right so let's just park this up right here for now let's grab this excavator Let's hop in this bad boy. Uh oh, I'm not getting. It. Okay, wait. Right. Oh, oh, oh! Don't destroy the shop. Don't destroy the shop. <laughs> All right, let's uh, bring that arm in. So we're gonna go to the doors, and we're gonna close the trunk. Just gonna bring it in. There we go. I love the sound of that Peterbilt in the back, and that thing is so nice. Uh oh. Woo! <laughs> it's a little tricky driving this thing. Okay, so we're gonna go load this up. Gotta be extremely careful because we do have some of our guys out here working. We're going to load this up onto the low boy trailer. Alright. So I think we're going to probably uh, drive it straight on. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and remove that. And let's try to get this thing loaded on. Now, attaching it is a little bit tricky. The trailer does have an attach grip built into it, but... It's probably going to flip it around when I attach it with the script. So I'm going to try to just attach it with menu ourselves here. Okay, so yeah, like I said, it does have its own script to attach, but I'm going to use menu to attach it instead. That way it, it pretty much stays like this. So we're going to go with this. Alright, and there we go. Looks pretty good to me. Uh, let me just get out so I don't accidentally press... A on my controller and make it attach with the script. I guess we could put this back on while we're here. Okay. And let's just take a closer look. Make sure this thing is strapped down well. It's, it actually is pretty good. You know what we could actually do too? We could go on here and we could add... Yeah, we gotta add those extra boards there. I mean, nah, do we need them? 
It wouldn't hurt. It is going to make us a little bit wider, though. Let me see if I could just move it over a little bit. It's gonna be hanging off the sides. What do you guys think? Is that safe? All right, let's just play it safe and let's just add this just in case. All right, so that looks pretty good to me. Try to just level it out a bit. And yeah, I think we're perfect, guys. I think we are perfect. All right, so let's grab our truck now and let's get out of here. Also, let's go ahead and put one of these oversized load signs on the rear. All right, so we'll put that on and perfect. All right, so let's get going. So this excavator, we're taking it to a new construction site we're working on. It's not really a big site. We should be done with it in less than a week. We just got to replace some pipes for the city on the freeway uh, right before the Great Ocean Highway starts. So we're going to head over there and drop off the excavator. It's going to go ahead and rip the ground up. And then we'll probably do another episode dropping off the pipes so that we can get the new pipes installed. And then obviously we'll have to go and pave it over and stuff like that as well. Alright, so, so far so good. Perfect. Alright, so let's see. We're going to be heading right over here. Now, I want to come from this way because I'm going to have to make that left turn and it's going to be too hard to make a U-turn. So, yeah, we have our route set. Two and a half miles to go. Shouldn't take us too long. The door is probably going to close on us, actually, at the gate. So, to prevent that from closing, let's just get one of our guys to stand next to it. That way it will not close. I did not mean to turn that wide. <laughs> All right, we're good. So this looks nice, guys. This is looking official. Let me know what you guys think about this. If you guys are enjoying, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video or live stream. Alright guys, so the other cool thing about this truck, if you guys missed the last episode, it also does have a jake break, which is pretty cool. So if we're going down any hills or if we gotta slow down, that definitely does come in handy. So guys, I'm gonna ask you a question. Do you guys prefer when I just like do you guys want me to follow traffic rules when we do trucking or do you guys want me to like go through the lights? Honestly, most of the time I go through the lights because the lights are so long and sometimes people complain. Like a few episodes I follow the traffic laws and some people complain but then sometimes I don't follow traffic laws and people still complain. So I guess either way the moral of the story is people are going to complain either way but let me know what do you guys prefer me to do? Like, say, when I play American Truck Simulator, I always follow the, the rules in American Truck and Simulator just because it's, I don't know, it's a little bit more realistic, it's a little bit more simulated, but, like, with GTA 5, it's just hard sometimes. Hard to be patient. <laughs> there goes one of our construction trucks out here, one of our vans. I'm just gonna go through the lights. 
As long as we're not like about to get hit by a vehicle, I'm just gonna go through. I really love the way this Peterville looks though. Like it is just so nice. This is definitely my new favorite truck. I think we're gonna do some more trucking too. Cause there's a lot of different loads and deliveries and there's some oversized loads that we could deliver too that I haven't used yet. So now that we have this new truck, might as well use them. person driving here. Oh, hey, are my windows dirty or is it because I tinted my windows here? Okay, that was dirty. Gotta make sure we keep the truck nice and clean. I want to try to play some American Truck Simulator 2. And we have really been slacking on that series. We used to play it every Tuesdays and Thursdays. So if you guys want to see American Truck... Holy crap, I had a feeling I did not cut that wide enough. If you guys want to see American Truck and Simulator on the channel again, definitely let me know. Oh, we almost took that pole out. a lot of construction sites around the city too. I'm gonna try to like visit some of them and you know just check them out and see if there's little things we could do to them and I don't know just to get our construction company going. See this is what I'd be talking about these lights. This guy was here before we even got here. Okay, it wasn't too bad. Sometimes they're so much longer, though. See, look, this... Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, we're on a four-way red light there. I guess we're doing a little bit of everything today.
I'm just gonna move out the way. I'm not trying to get hit. Set them. Oh, we can use our Jake break, guys. Finally, I've been wanting to use this. Alright guys, I'm coming up on the construction site here. Alright, so it looks like we have some pipes already. We have dump truckers here, bulldozer. Uh, what's that? F-150 cement truck. The cement truck is here kind of early because we're not going to be repaving this for a little while. Alright, so let's park up right here. Alright, that should be good. You know what, we could back this all the way up since technically the excavator is going to come off from the front. Alright. That looks pretty good right there. leave this here and let's go ahead and unload the excavator we'll also take a quick look at the construction site we'll make sure all of our guys are doing what they're supposed to be doing you know you gotta pop up pop up and check on your guys when you own a company gotta make sure everybody's working and doing what they're supposed to be doing Also, we want to make sure that we are always being safe, so let's go ahead and just put on a hard hat. Alright, so we'll put that on and let's get a vest on as well. Alright, that looks good. I don't know what I'll say this as. meant to put hat. Alright, so let's go ahead and unload this. Alright, I'm just gonna take this off because sometimes it's hard to get off. There we go. Oh my god, traffic is so crazy right now. <laughs> let's just turn them off for a second.
All right, so the guys are already getting started with the jackhammers to try to break up the concrete. And we're gonna use this to help out with that as well. All right, so let's see what we can do here. Let's go to doors again. And let's go to, yeah, I guess we'll go to trunk. Should we put it up? Nah, I'll leave it down like that. All right, that should be good. So we'll drop that off. That way, once they get the first layer of all of this broken up, we can use this to kind of just pull it back and dig it deep down and then we can get these pipes installed. Looks like everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing. That's good. We have a skid steer here as well. Cement truck. F-150. Bulldozer. I don't really know. Do we really need the bulldozer and skid steer here? I'll, I'll check the work order. Oh! A truck broke down too. Hey, yeah, yeah. What's wrong with this truck? It's overheating. Oh man! All right, so that truck is having problems. We probably gotta replace it. Honestly, one of the CT660 dump trucks. All right, so we do have some pipes, but we do have to bring some more pipes down here. And again, we're pretty much just replacing a line of pipes that runs underneath the freeway. All right. Cool. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. I gotta get back to the shop. Uh, like I said, I'll probably do another video when we come back and we will deliver some more supplies for the guys so they could get all of this work done. All right, so let's get this back to the shop. So we gotta get all the way back across town. Yeah, I wish we could just take the highway there. So we can't just stay on the highway and take the highway to like here. I mean, we technically could. Well, you get it'll be a longer trip though. But sometimes I don't mind going on the highway because then we could like avoid all of the red lights. Let's try. Let's try going on the highway. I'm gonna see if I could do it without using the GPS or at least following the GPS. So let's try to make our way back to the shop. Now if you guys wanna see more construction mods and more like trucking mods and stuff like that, definitely let me know by hitting the like button, leaving some comments and subscribing if you are new. You know what, we could have took down the oversized load sign and we should have put away the extra boards too. That is not a real person guys, just an advertisement. <laughs> okay, so we're not going to follow the GPS, we're going to stay on the freeway. And we're going to go to the 5. So we're going to still not follow the GPS. I'm going to stay on the freeway here. And we're going to take this all the way down to the bridge. 
and take it all the way around near the dock area and it will set in back up in back up at the shop. Traffic always gets really slow on this bridge. Oh man, come on. I hate when two cars are like side by side. Like, can one of you guys pass each other and move to the right? game crash guys we're not gonna make it back to the shop i do apologize about that but hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode again if you did hit that like button and leave some comments down below and subscribe let me know if you guys would like to see some more trucking and some more construction mods as well so thank you guys so much for watching really do hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one peace